Hi friends, it's Ms. Alejandra from the Westmont Public Library. July is Culinary Arts Month, so this month we're going to be showing you guys some really yummy treats that you can make um, in your kitchen at home, uh, either by yourself or with any little ones that you may have around. And then today we're going to be focusing on three ingredient cake. So the three ingredients that you're going to need are um, a cookie of your choice, preferably a little on the crunchier side rather than chewy, but that's up to you. Um, baking powder and just a little bit of milk. Um, I'm just using skim milk, any kind is fine. And for cookies, I'm going to be using fudge stripes. I originally wanted um, just some chocolate, chocolate chip cookies. I couldn't find any, so these are my next favorite. So I figured I would use those. If you've got a food processor, then just feel free to throw them in there um, and just process them until they're really, really fine. I do not have one, so I'm just going to be crushing them by hand, um, which is a lot of fun, actually. And like I said, if you've got any little ones helping you, this part will be really fun for them. So you're going to want about three cups or so worth of powder, or not powder, but cookie crumbs. So about three cups or so. Um, I'm not entirely sure how many cookies that'll be. It'll depend on um, the cookie that you're using. It'll depend on how big the package is. So I would say just eyeball it um, and see where that gets you. So okay, I have two packages that I'm starting off with of fudge stripes. Um, I do have a third in case I need it. I'm not entirely sure that I will or I won't, but at least I've got it available if I need it. So I'm gonna be crushing these just by hand, just like that. Um, if you've got a rolling pin, this would work great. You're gonna want to get them um, as crushed as possible, only because the finer the powder or the cookie crumbs, the you know, the better the texture of the cake that you'll get. But if you've got some larger chunks in there, it's up to you if that's okay or not. Um, keep in mind, if you're using like the fudge stripes like I am, obviously they've got chocolate on them. Um, so it's completely up to you what, what you would like to use. Um, because really, cookies have the majority of the dry ingredients that a cake is going to need. So whatever cookie you think tastes great, I would say that's probably a good one to start off with. Um, so I'm just going to keep crushing these until they're a lot finer than that, or a lot more fine than this. So I'm just going to keep crushing these and I will show you guys what it looks like and I'll let you guys know how much, how many cookies I needed to get to the three cups of cookie crumbs that we're gonna need for this recipe. Okay friends, so I turned the cookies just into cookie crumbles. Um, so this is about how much I got in a package of the fudge stripes got me just under the three cups that we needed, so I ended up having to crush a couple more, um, and that got me to right where I needed to be. So we're, we're all set. There are some larger chunks in there, that's fine. Like I said, I'm not using a food processor, so it is what it is, but if you do have one, you'll get finer powder. Um, so now you're gonna take about a cup and a half of milk, and then this is gonna go in the microwave, and you're gonna warm it up for, you know, 30 seconds on and off. I would give it about a minute and a half to two minutes, um, only because the warmer milk is gonna help this um, rise like a cake better than a cup of cold milk would. So let's get that started. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and mix that in. Okay guys, so I was um, heating up the milk for about two and a half minutes to get it nice and warm. And like I said, having it warm is just gonna help with making the cake rise more than it would if it was cold milk. So we're just gonna take that and just mix it up. If you feel like your cake is a little too um, watery, which it shouldn't be, then definitely feel free to add a couple more, um, to add a couple more cookies. It'll just depend on the kind of cookie that you choose to use. 
um, but feel free and go ahead and add a little bit more if you need to before you pop it into the oven. And we're also going to take about two teaspoons, two and a quarter teaspoons of um, baking powder. And this is what's going to help make the cake rise because otherwise we would put it in the oven and just get a really flat giant cookie. So about two and a quarter teaspoons, about that much. And you're just gonna keep mixing it until everything is combined nicely. It does smell really good and because I used um, fudge stripes, which does have some chocolate in it, this batter looks way more chocolatey um, than, than it would if I was just using like just a normal chocolate chip cookie or something like that, but that's perfectly fine with me. And fudge stripes are some of my favorite cookies, so I can't even wait to see how this is gonna taste once the once it's done baking. And it doesn't need to bake for very long. Um, you'll probably wanna have your oven preheated to about 340, 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're only gonna to need to put it into the oven for about 15 minutes or so. It'll vary by oven. So just put your, um, either a toothpick or a knife in the middle, just to double check that it's fully cooked through. But remember, this was cookies. Um, so it was, they were already baked, everything was ready. Um, this is just perfect for when maybe you don't feel like making a cookie from, or sorry, making a cake from scratch, or maybe you really want cake and you want to make it from scratch, but you don't have the ingredients, but you do have cookies and baking powder and milk. Um, so this is just another fun alternative to something that you can do. So I'm going to keep mixing this, and I also have a greased, um, eight by eight pan over here. So once this is done cooking, or sorry, mixing, I'm gonna put it in the pan and then put it in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes, check on it. Like I said, it'll depend on your oven. Um, but after that, we'll see where it gets us and then it should have, we should have a really yummy looking cake. Okay friends, so my cake was actually in the oven for about 25 minutes um, at 340 degrees. But that's okay. Like I said, it would vary very much between the type of cookie you use, the oven you used, um, and all those different things. But this is my cake. It does smell very much like the, the striped fudge cookies, just in a cake form. So I'm very excited to eat this. It is very hot still, so I can't have it yet. Um, but I'm super excited. You could also throw on some frosting if you'd like. I think Nutella would go really great with this, just a little bit of melted Nutella on top, but you could also just have it as is, um, which is probably what I'm going to do with a little bit of milk after dinner, and I think that'll be a great dessert, and I think it's so fun that you can make a cake out of just um, cookies, milk, and baking powder. So I hope you guys will try it. Please remember to subscribe to the Westmont Public Library YouTube channel. We post videos every week for you guys to enjoy while we're at home. Um, thanks so much for spending time with me today. Bye, guys.